بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ٹیکنیکلی ایکسپلین ان دس لیکچر وی ول اسٹڈی دا گین بینڈ ویڈ پروڈکٹ آف آپریشنل ایمپلیفائر تو واٹ از دا گین بینڈ ویڈ پروڈکٹ آف آپریشنل ایمپلیفائر دا گین بینڈ ویڈ پروڈکٹ آف آپریشنل ایمپلیفائر از دا پروڈکٹ آف دی ایمپلیفائر بینڈ ویڈ اینڈ دا گین ایٹ وچ دا بینڈ ویڈ از میجرڈ تو دس مینس دیٹ فار ایگزامپل آئی ہیو این آپریشنل ایمپلیفائر اینڈ آئی وانٹ ٹو میجر ایٹس گین First of all, when I measured its gain at 1 MHz, I found out that the gain is unity, that is the gain is 1. Then I changed the frequency and measured the gain of this operational amplifier at 100 kHz. I found out that now the gain of this operational amplifier is now 10. Then I further decreased the frequency and found out that at 1 Hz, the gain of this operational amplifier is 10 raised to power 6. Now if you take the product of all these, I have the product of 10 raised to power 6 or 1 megahertz. Similarly, the product of this is also 1 megahertz. The product of this is also 1 megahertz. So if you can have a look, though we have different gains at different frequency, the product of gain and bandwidth is the same. And this is called the gain bandwidth product. Now let us move to the next slide. If you can have a look at the lower lever, the gain is smaller. When the gain is smaller, the bandwidth is large. So I can write here smaller gain and larger bandwidth. So we are, are having a inverse relationship. Smaller gain, larger bandwidth. At the lower values of gain, bandwidth is greater. Which means that the frequency at which the output of the operational amplifier will be, a, a, will be an exact duplicate of the input is very high because the bandwidth is high. The range of frequency for which the output will not be a distorted signal in an operational amplifier is very high. But the gain is small. And now in this case when the gain is larger, we can have a look, we have a high gain over here and then the bandwidth is very small. So we have a smaller, larger gain and smaller bandwidth over here. Larger gain, smaller bandwidth. Which means though the gain of the operational amplifier at this stage is high but the bandwidth is small which means that the output uh, will be ex an exact duplicate of the input at very small range of frequencies at very small range of frequencies the output will be the exact duplicate of the input signal the output will not be a distorted signal of the input for a very small range of frequencies and now why do we have this distortion. We know that operational amplifier is a high gain differential amplifier whose gain is around 10 raised to power 5 to 10 raised to power 6. And to enable stable operation, because of this high gain, it leads to instability. So, to enable stable operation, operational amplifiers are built with internal compensation circuitry. And because of this internal compensation circuitry, it causes the open loop gain to diminish with high frequency. So, the gain decreases with high frequency. The gain decreases with high frequency. If we increase the frequency of the operational amplifier, the gain is going to decrease because of this internal compensation circuitry. And this gain reduction is referred to as roll off. And the typical, in most op-amps, the typical roll offs are minus 20 dB per decade or minus 6 dB per op -amp. Now, this graph shows how the frequency, how the gain decreases with frequency. We, on the x-axis, we have the frequency which ranges from 1 to 10 million hertz. On the y-axis, we have gain first in the linear scale. This is my linear scale and this is my dB scale. To convert linear into dB scale, we have the formula 20 log because the gain is in voltage, so we are going to have V out by V in. So, when the gain is 1, I am going to have 0 dB. This is in dB, so this is 0 dB. And when the gain is 10, and when I put the values over here, so at the V0 by V in, I am going to put 10 over here. When I put 10 over here, I am going to get 20 dB. Similarly, when I put 100 over here, I am going to get 40 dB. So this is my dB scale and this is my linear scale. If you can have a look, the, the roll off is minus 20 dB per decade. That is the frequency is drop, dropping, uh, the gain is dropping at the rate of minus 20 dB per decade. And if you look at these points, at this point we have the gain of 100 and at the frequency of 100 kilohertz. 
this is in hertz so the product is 10 megahertz similarly if you look at at this point at this point the gain is 10 and the frequency is 1 mega, 1 megahertz again the product is 10 megahertz so as i said earlier the product of gain and bandwidth will remain same so the gain bandwidth product will remain constant and if you measure this gain uh, bandwidth product at the unity gain that is when gain is 1 if r0 db 1 equals to 0 db so if the gain is 1 r0 db if we measure the bandwidth of that at uh, that uh, frequency that frequency will be called as unity gain bandwidth and it can be denoted by f1 r b1 so this is a uh, so this frequency is called unity gain bandwidth because it is the frequency at which the gains become unity at which the gains become 0 db so this is called f1 rb1 we have another important parameter which is called the fc and this is called the critical frequency and the, this critical frequency can be uh, defined as the frequency at which the gains become 0 0.07 of the initial gain of the gain at 1 hertz or uh, of the gain at 0 hertz so this is defined as 0 0.777 r the 3, 3 db so when becomes uh, when the gain becomes 0 0.0707 times of the maximum gain which is which is at this frequency at zero frequency or one hertz frequency so we are going to have the critical frequency so when the gain becomes the 0 0.707 times of the maximum gain or we can say that it becomes the 0 0.707 times of the dc gain we are going to have the critical frequency so the fre frequency at which the gains become 0 0.707 times uh, the gain at dc frequency at the gain at dc frequency is assumed to be the maximum so when it becomes uh, to, to 0 0.707 times of that frequency that is called the pre critical frequency so the critical frequency and the unity gain with band, 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 unity gain bandwidth frequency is related as f1 is equal to avd fc here this fc is my critical frequency so fc is equal to f1 divided by avd here this avd is the gain at the 0 hertz or gain at 1 hertz fine so this is my actually my dc gain so it is gain at 1 hertz or gain at 0 hertz f1 is the frequency at unity gain f1 is the frequency at which the gain is 1 or the gain is unity or the gain is 0 db so the critical frequency can be found using this equation. Let's solve for the gain bandwidth product. Thank you.